So let's go for Pluck. Oh, he's got a Cobra Berry? No. I feel like this still does a lot, though. Don't you dare click counter, bro. Butterfree, go! Yo, whoa, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka A Drive. Up to guys, another episode of our Pokemon GS Chronicles Nuzlocke Let's Play. If you guys are excited for this one, and I know you guys are, take a second out of your day and hit that like button down below. You guys already know we set those like goals at 5,000 likes for this series, and we've been a little bit short, but uh, if you guys enjoy, I know you guys can show the love, so it does help out the channel, and I certainly appreciate it. If you missed the last one, we took on Morty and the Ghost Type Gym, and uh, we're chilling so far. We're doing all right. Things have been okay. I can't complain. I'm hoping we can get access to Mega Evolution this episode. I really am, and I'm excited to jump into things. Before I go any further, though, I actually am so excited. I just went to the Merch Land offices yesterday for the first time. For those who don't know, earlier this year, I started my own merchandise company, and uh, we work with different creators and stuff like that, but I've also been launching more merch myself, including this amazing t-shirt design right here. It looks so good, dude. It also comes in white, and you can get it in navy. You can go to teamshotty.com for all of our new designs. Take a look at the website, though, seriously, because we added a few other things, including some bundles that include plushies. They're going to sell out pretty quickly, but definitely check those out. We've got the Greninja, Lucario, Charizard, and much, much more over on our website at teamshotty.com, so check all that out. Otherwise, I was told in the comments, I do read the comments by the way, someone mentioned that I should check the move relearner because apparently Erwin learns a really cool custom move. Let's see. Aqua scales. The foe is cut by sharp scales and may also, that's actually busted. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that's actually, that's actually incredible. All right, well, we can get rid of water gun. That's amazing. I did check, um, I did check this for some of the other Pokemon already, so everyone else was fine at this point. I do need to go rename Umbreon, so I'm gonna head back to Goldenrod just to do that, because there's a glitch in this game that doesn't allow that to be a thing. And then we'll pick up where we left off here in Ecritique City. I also just noticed that my clock on my computer has been wrong for an entire day, because when I changed it to evolve Umbreon in the last episode a few days ago, I accidentally set it 12 hours exactly ahead, so I never made the connection, and I was like, why is it nighttime in my game? And it's, it, it was the same exact time in the morning. Just don't mind me. All right, brought Fuego back onto the team because it's Fuego and he deserves to be on the team, don't you think? I think so. He tells me to have a seat so we can talk, but I don't understand what I have to do. I can't sit somewhere. D what? I don't know what we're doing with this guy. Oh, this guy's gonna stop acting. All right, so now we gotta deal with these guys here in this hall, these Team Rocket grunts. They're up to no good and he's got a Gloom. Level 24. Oh, man. I'm just going to obliterate you. Lady Ariana will literally kill me. It's better if I go. Oh, well, that tells me that there's a rocket boss sitting inside. That's for sure. And here we go. There she is. Well, young ladies, now you have no choice. You're telling me about the mystic plates and where to find them or else. We won't sow anything to an obscure heart like yours. You greedy women are not welcome here. Understood. If you want me to get what I need using my own methods, so be it. All right. Well, I guess I got to be the one to stop her, huh? Let's find out. Oh, I don't even have control over my controller right now. What the? I know who you are. The little pest who defeated not once, but twice the incompetent Proton. As you can see, I'm different. You can call me Ariana, one of the greatest Team Rocket executives. Now this is the perfect time to finish you, little pest. All right, so we got to battle Ariana, one of the uh, the Rocket execs. Of course, we've had no problems with uh, with Proton. She's got three mods. Going to lead it off with a Manectric. Level 27. That's actually a pretty strong Manectric. I like to think that Fuego here is fine. I'm going to go for Snarl out the gate to drop a special attack. So if he does go for like a Thunderbolt or something, it's going to be reduced. Let's see what he's going to do back. Going to go for the Thunder Wave. So I should have probably expected that. I obviously had a very easy switch there. I'm going to just stay in and Snarl again. Here comes an Ice Fang. Is that the best you can do? That's going to do nothing. Of course, I'm going to get paralyzed and flinched and all sorts of stuff. But other than that, I mean, this shouldn't be too bad. I guess it is good that I didn't switch out into Queen because I would be taking... I'd be taking Ice Fangs. Here comes another Ice Fang. Can we Can we not? Can we not just go this route? There we go. I got the hit off. Okay. I snarled again. I should probably Fire Fang. Let's Fire Fang this time now that his special attack has dropped. I mean, he's doing so little damage to me. I just clicked very much so the wrong button. I think I'm going to give him a Lightning Rod boost. Oh, he's not Lightning Rod. Well, that's very convenient. I actually... <laughs> I almost just choked that a little bit. Um, but I think we're okay still. I'll just... Keep fun. There we go. That's what I'm looking for after she super potions. Big damage there. And one. I'm gonna switch out the Manetric into Nido Queen. All right. 
What do I want to do against Nido Queen, huh? Ooh, I'll snag a quick burn. That's what I'm talking about. Good stuff, Fuego. You did your thing back on the team once again. Nido Queen, I feel like Wingman's really solid. I could also go Erwin. Yeah, let's go Erwin and bust out his new move, his new signature move, like his uh, Aqua Scales. Let's see. Here comes an Earth. Ooh. I almost went Crobat. This might hurt. We took it pretty well. The burn comes off, and now I can go for our new move, Aqua Scales. And the fact that this is a chance to raise our attack is mind-blowing. That's such a good move. It, we don't get the boost, but that's still such a good move. We're going to get to level 31 there with Erwin. And we know Manetric's probably coming back out. Yeah, here comes Manetric. Now, I know this thing likes to Thunder Wave us. I think my play is I just go... Honestly, I think I just go Fuego again. Like, why would I not do that? Fuego is a very safe bet here. And it's going to be the Thunder Wave. And we'll just go for Fire Fang and finish him off. Does have Thunderbolt, though. Does have Thunderbolt, though. Oh, and I get fully paralyzed. All right. Well, we have to predict the Thunderbolt this time. We're going to go back into Cersei. And hopefully, Cersei can do what it needs to do here. Here comes the Thunderbolt. That's fine. I'm going to have to take an Ice Fang to the face, but I think a return... I should have Sludge Bombed. We can take one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. Return should do enough here, I would think. I should I should have definitely Sludge Bombed, but that's okay. All right, so that's good. Fuego's good. Cersei getting some love. Erwin getting a little bit of love there. And here comes Murkrow as her last. All right, well, Murkrow's pretty strong. I'm pretty confident that I can take one, so I'm going to Rock Tomb it. I'm faster. Uh, a little surprised I'm faster, to be honest. Big Rock Tomb almost knocks out the Murkrow. And it's going to go for Acrobatics. And we should be good to go. I, I, I could have Sucker Punch, but I think a Return will finish the deal. Has Faint instead, which is a priority move that hits through Protect. But Return will knock it out, and we're going to be able to beat Ariana without really any issues. I tell you, that Manetric was a little tricky, but uh, we got through it no problem. How is that even possible? Well, my team is better than your team. This little brat is stronger than I expected. I wasn't careful with this scumbag. Well, whatever. I will find what I need in other ways. For now, you win. Well, I saved everybody. You're all welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much, young trainer. That woman just came in threatening to harm us if we don't collaborate with her. <laughs> I just imagine other YouTubers being like, Hey, Drive, I'm going to hurt you if you don't do a collab with me. If you don't do a cage lock with me, I'm going to hurt you. We're... <laughs> Question of the day. Who do you want the next cage lock to be with? Let me know in the comments section below. We're now safe thanks to you. Please take this item as a reward for your courage. The Crush Ride! Fighting Steel and Rock Pokemon can wreck rocks. This technique will help you wreck rocks and clear a path. The item is nothing compared to what you did for us, but it's what I can give you for this. Now I should tell the police about this incident today. So there's a few instances where we can actually go back and utilize that. So... You don't look mean like Team Rocket. Oh, okay. Are you you guys don't battle me, do you? None of y'all battle me. Okay. Munchie, I'm gonna let you chill with the rest of the squad for a little bit. And we're gonna grab our little friend Skywalker. I'm gonna give him the Soothe Bell. And I'm gonna do a little bit of backtracking. Um, I think there's been some instances where I could have rock, you know, rock crushed or whatever, and I never did. So I'm gonna see if I can find any of those locations, and then we'll kind of double back here. Uh, in Dark Cave, you can't go any further without strength. I totally just noticed this game has an item duplication glitch. Because I have a charcoal and I have a charcoal on Fuego. I'm pretty sure... Maybe I just picked up a second one. But I know I have two quick claws. So I'm not sure if that's just actually a glitch or if I'm just crazy. Oh, I just found a Raikou. I'm just randomly running around. All right, well, I'll YOLO uh, an Ultra Ball at it. I mean, I don't think I'm going to catch it. But I'd be quite sick if I did. Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> I didn't think that was going to happen at all. All right, we are on Route 38, which is a new route to Olivine City. I think that's where I'm supposed to kind of head next. So I'll probably have a couple trainers to beat up and things like that, but I can't imagine they're going to be too tough. And we pick up TM42 Facade. That's actually really good in this game, considering how many Pokemon um, get status and stuff. We may want to use that, actually. And I also just realized that Skywalker can't evolve right now because it's nighttime. So I'm going to grab my nighttime encounter, and then I'm going to switch the uh, time of day after I battle this guy. And our encounter is going to be a Magnemite. Okay. I'm actually okay with this. Uh, this is a solid encounter. Uh, I do need to switch out though. Um, I'm going to go into Darwin, chip this thing down, and then hopefully catch it. And I got him. 
Yo, Swagnamite's on the squad, baby. You already know about your boy Swagnamite. Yeah, you love him. All right, let me go back and heal, and then uh, I'm gonna change the time of day. As an ace trainer, I'm always looking for opponents that can make me use my training skills. You ready to beat all these trainers? Finally, a worthy opponent. All right, I guess I gotta battle this ace trainer. He looks like he's pretty tough. He's got a Kranidos to kick it off. Uh, but he's only level 25. I think we're gonna be okay. I could stay in and just kind of attack, but I think it's a little on the riskier side. So I'm gonna play this on the safer side and just go Cersei. Uh, he could have Zen Headbutt though, now that I'm thinking about it, which would probably knock me out. He's gonna scary face. This thing actually could be a problem. I'm not even gonna lie. If he has Zen Headbutt, he could do a lot to me. Um, I'm gonna do Superpower though. He's got Takedown. Okay, I should be fine then. Because Takedown, the Superpower should knock him out here. And yeah, because Granados is pretty frail, so can't imagine he, he lives this. Nah, we're okay, we're good. All right, what else you got for me, Ace Trainer? I'm a little nervous, because, you know, I wasn't expecting this Ace Trainer to have anything anything powerful. And he's got a Probo Pass. Okay. Um, what do I want to do against that? I mean, I obviously, he's going to have, I mean, Skywalker would be great. It's a little risky. Let's go Darwin, and I'll, I should be able to beat this thing. Shout out to Skywalker coming in and just obliterating that Probo Pass. He, uh, he had rest, so he ended up healing up a lot of that HP. But uh, we beat him without really any issues. Skywalker, now's a great time for you to evolve if you're feeling it. Oh, look at that! Just as I asked. And now I know you guys have been waiting for this one. A Lucario. And again, perfect time to plug the merch. I got that brand new shiny Lucario t-shirt available at teamshiny.com. You're going to look amazing in it. I know you are. I have a Lucario. Now, I'll be real. Listen, Lucario is a Pokemon that I know is very good. I know it's a very popular Pokemon. It's not generally, like, my favorite Pokemon by any means, but it's still a really strong and powerful Pokemon. So, I'm all about it. I'll give him Aura Sphere. I definitely want to go back to the Move Relearner and see if he learns anything else. And, I mean, it's a Steel and Fighting type. It's a very powerful Pokemon to have on our team. So, I'll take it. And he's going to give me the Magnet, which is actually really nice. That'll boost the power of our Electro type moves. I appreciate that. That's for sure. And I found Raikou again! Okay! I was about to get my encounter here on Route 39, and then a Raikou pops up. I guess I'll just... Do I get an attack off or does he always switch out first? I'll quick attack just for a little chip damage. Raikou really likes me today, though. And our encounter for this route is going to be a... Ponyta! All right. I guess I'll take a Ponyta. That's not the worst thing in the world. And we caught it in a Pokeball, so that's pretty sweet. Who's ready for Breath of the Wild 2? I certainly am. That could be sick. E3 is uh, right around the corner. Actually, I think it's going on right now. Into Olivine City! New opportunities and, of course, a new gym. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me, can I get by them or do I have to heal first? I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna just heal first. You've been running away every time we see you. You've no escape now. You're telling me why you stole a Pokemon from Professor Elm's lab or else me and my Pokemon will force you to tell us the truth. You don't seem menacing enough to even try to threaten me. The only reason I stole that Pokemon was because it seems like a strong one. The only worthy Pokemon are the ones able to fight and destroy your enemies. A weak one is just a waste of time. Don't say another word. You're like Team Rocket, you heartless people. people. Pokemon are not meant to be war tools. I won't forgive anyone who uses Pokemon for their selfish ends. Look, I've got no time for jerks like you. I came to just to challenge the gym leader, and she's taking care of a useless and ill Pokemon. If I can't battle her, then I got nothing to do here. So don't even try to stop me. Your Pokemon don't even have a chance to defeat mine. And there goes Callum once again. Did you see that A-Drive? I'm convinced he's a Team Rocket minion. No one treats their Pokemon as tools but them. He managed to run away from me, but next time I'll catch him and return to the stolen Pokemon. Anyway, my dad called and asked to see me in Cyanwood. It's not like I'm super excited about it, but I guess I could try to build a better relationship. You should go there as well. The gym leader from the city won't take any challenges. I'll see you there. Don't be late. All right, so it looks like we are headed to Cyanwood City, which is where Chuck is. And we'll have to take on his fighting type Pokemon. And are you going to give me some fishing rods? Yeah, why don't you give me a nice little uh, good rod? Sweet. Oh, this guy wants to battle me. I don't know. They're they're doing like a documentary series. I don't know what's going on here. These uh, interviewers want to battle. Are they any good? A Delca... Skittles! Yeah, but I have Skywalker. Like, what are you going to do, though, for real? Like, if I just click Aura Sphere, don't you just... He's got Fake Out. I might have Inner Focus, though. Do I have Inner Focus? No, I don't. But I have Steadfast! <laughs> That's amazing. So the, the very rare ability Steadfast activating here uh, where I actually get... Oh, he lived. No, I resist this. We're fine. Right? Bro, that was some power, Delcaddy. Jeez. 
Hit with that Jenga Impact right there. That was kind of no joke. Okay. Well, the good news is we get a lot of XP there. And what else? We got a Chansey. All right. So my best way to deal with Chansey right now is definitely to Lemonade and then just Force Palm. So I'm going to do that. Goodbye, Chansey. Give me all that XP, please. Yes, yeah, Skywalker catching up to the rest of the team right now. Getting some big levels. Monster Bone Rush. Very strong ground type move. Get rid of Endure for that. What a battle. We captured all the adrenaline and excitement for this. For sure, this will be the next TV hit. You and your Pokemon perfectly understand each other. Take this item as a present. The Macho Brace, which is for EV training, of course. Ooh, so Skywalker does have a couple really cool moves. Um, Power Up Punch is one of them. Swords Dance, Counter. A couple different things. I'm going to go with Power Up Punch over Force Palm. And then I think Metal Claw might be worth just in replacement of quick attack for now we'll rock with those all right i'm gonna climb through the lighthouse and just take on any of the trainers up here and here's jasmine and her ampharos but she's the gym leader and amphi can't illuminate the lighthouse so we need to go to cyanwood and get the medicine which is pretty straightforward so we'll we'll head there yeah no problem i'll go to cyanwood and oh i guess i had to go this way we get the wave rat which is perfect that allows us to surf our way over there um, I came in the lighthouse because I just figured I had to talk to her and it kind of works out that we needed to so I will take that and there's a nice little warp tile. Ooh, that's kind of nice All right, so we're gonna wave right on Irwin. We do get an encounter out here in the ocean um, Ooh, there's a there's Napoleon I or print flop actually I'll just beat him up pretty easily the March Tom will beat up pretty easily here if I don't miss Perfect. I still get encounter here on 40 I don't really need to battle these trainers. And there's our encounter for Route 40. It is a Tentacool. You already know, man. All right, I'll take a Tentacool. That's not too bad. Shout out to my man Pirate Taz. We'll name this one Kenny. Route 41, another route, which means another encounter here. If I get one, we'll see. And a Carvana. Oh, actually, that's not bad. Should girl Jaws with a Z. And I made it all the way to Cyanwood City so we can heal up. Very nice. Oh, here's the pharmacy. This guy should be able to hook us up. Wait, what are you- aren't you supposed to give me the stuff I need? You don't give me the special medicine, bro? So this guy apparently gives you bottle caps for yellow shards. So I'll have to figure out how to get yellow shards and maybe we thief them later. Normally, this is where you'd run into Yusin, but he's not here. Wanna challenge this gym? I don't think you could. Chuck's hard training session is not over yet. Until then, you won't get in. Alright, well that tells me I need to go up this way and through this cave, I think. Ah, here we go. I'm here as you requested. Can you tell me what this is all about? You have no idea how excited I am to see you again, Chris. Well, I asked you to come here because I wanted you to invite you to take part in the brand new Pokemon League I'm investing in. We're looking for the best trainers to participate. You made me interrupt my research and cross the sea just to witness the monument of your egocentrism? I thought you wanted to redeem yourself. No thanks. I won't be part of this and I'm not even interested on challenging gyms. No, 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 no. You're, you're completely misunderstanding, honey. The actual reason I wanted you to come is because I wanted to give you something. I know I haven't- yeah, nice turn, turn of events there. I know I haven't been the best father to you always, uh, but I want to make things different. I've been busy with business and not giving you enough attention, but I never stop thinking about your well-being. As a sincere present, please take this Pokemon. It was a gift from an old friend who lives in Hoenn. Now I want you to take care of it. I don't know what to say about it. Adrop, I didn't notice you were around. Nice to see you, Adrop. I was just having a conversation with Chris about the Pokemon League we're working on, and I want you to be a part of it. I know has Chris, Chris has potential to be a tough challenger. Why don't you battle and show how strong you become? All right, I guess I'm battling Chris. We'll see if she's any better than she's been. So far, we've been uh, pretty solid in GS Chronicles, but uh, she's got a team of five mons. Going to lead it off with a Letty in at level 32. All right, well, that's a thing. Um, I'm going to go for Aqua Scales. It's going to go for Submission. That's a powerful fighting move with Recoil. Yeah, and let's see how much our Aqua Scales does. This is such a sick move. Let's see how much it does. Not a lot. Um, I'm going to keep Erwin healthy and just go into Wingman. Because I think Wingman will be faster. can go for Pluck. And can take a submission really well. And she's going to just Cyber Potion up her Ledian anyway. So that's fine. Um, we'll just go for a Pluck here. which It's got Bullet Punch. That shouldn't do too much. Yeah, we're fine. It's not Stab or anything. And it is a Ledian, so... Uh, Pluck comes off. That is going to be a massive KO there on the Ledian. And I steal its Oakaberry. So that's kind of cool. Competitive sets. That's going to reduce the power of fire type moves. And let's see what else she's got. In comes Luxray. All right. Um, Luxray most certainly is Ice Fang, if I had to make a guess. I'm going to go Cersei anyway, though. Because I think an electric move is coming my way. And then I can fire off a nice Sludge Bomb. Zing Zap. Yo, that's uh, Togedemaru's move. Well, I'm going to Sludge Bomb. 
and it has swagger. It's gonna boost my attack by two stages, but confuse me in the process. Hopefully we can hit through this. It's also gonna mean we take extra damage from confusion. I really, really need to not hit myself right now. Okay, I can still sludge bomb. And it's gonna snarl and reduce my special attack. That's very cheeky there, Luxray. Very, very cheeky. Um, this might be a little tricky. Okay, I'll get the sludge bomb off. A poison would be really nice right now. I don't snag the poison. I think I'm gonna return because it continues to lower my special attack and my physical attack is boosted by two stages. So I think return is probably my best bet. Still confused. And I hit myself a confusion again. Uh, I do need to heal up. I have to heal up this time. Um, I did pick up some hyper potions and stuff. So we'll use one of those. And it's gonna shadow claw. So it has shadow claw as well. No crits or anything, so that's fine. We're just gonna go for a turn. I should snap out this time. This is plus two return, but it isn't gonna be as strong because of rivalry. So we'll see how much it does. A good chunk, I'll take it. And it's gonna Shadow Claw instead of Swagger, so this is fine. A crit would be a little bit painful. There's the crit, but we're gonna get through it. So honestly, Cersei is, is really important to just take on these Electra types. So getting through the uh, Luxray there is fine by me. We'll get a good amount of XP there. We're gonna get to level 33. We are plus two attack, but again, probably gonna switch out anyway. Let's see, here comes Matang. I have a probably, I, I like to think I have a solid Matang answer. I can go Fuego and start biting. Or I can go Darwin. Yeah, let's just go Darwin, I think. Zen Headbutt doesn't work against me, which is beautiful. I'll go for Assurance. It's gonna just switch out, because I don't think it can even touch me. Into Sylveon. Okay, so you got an Evolution as well, it seems. And my primary Sylveon answer is definitely weakened right now. I think I gotta go Wingman. I can take one Hyper Voice and then Cross Poison back. So let's hope that this doesn't... It's gonna Light Screen, that's fine. Sylveon looking real good though. This Cross Poison is gonna obliterate this Sylveon. It's gonna do some damage. Yeah, nice crit there. Obviously Scope Lens plus Cross Poison boost. Someone told me in the comments that it's badly poisoned as Cross Poison, which is really nice as well. Kind of a nice upgrade. I need to put U-turn back on this thing. Here comes Vulpix, which has been your kind of signature Pokemon for a while, but I just cross poison again. There's not really any reason for me to switch out because this is going to do so much. Misses a Will-O-Wisp. I definitely have to put U-turn back on though. Misses a Willow, so we skillfully dodge the Willow. Knock out the Vulpix. And now it's just uh, Matang and we presume her, her starter, I think. Wingman have to... Th oh, it doesn't even have it. It's just Matang. Okay, that's fine with me. I thought she had a bay leaf. Maybe I'm just crazy. All right, well, let's go, uh, let's go Darwin. I don't think you can even touch me. It's got rock slide. I just go for assurance a few times. And yeah, that's it. See you later. Wingman gets some love. Chris goes down. See you later. You and Matang, you understand each other. Well, that's just wonderful. It seems that you and Matang make a great team. The way you battle make me feel proud of you. Imagine your dad watching you and like he wasn't a part of your life and then all of a sudden he watches you battle and you just get absolutely wrecked. I don't know what to do. I'm not sure if I want to participate, but he's insisting so much. It sounds like he's really sorry. After all, he's my father, and I should give him the opportunity to redeem himself. I'll keep doing my research about eggs. I'm visiting Mahogany Town soon, so maybe a trip around there will clear my mind. Keep training, because the next time we meet, I'll win for sure. I feel like you've been saying that for, like, a couple episodes now. All right, so we actually can't go any further here, but I think that's probably going to unlock Chuck's gym now, I would assume. It does not unlock Chuck's gym. Oh, there's Suicune. Okay, so that was next. I'm like really confused that maybe I did something wrong, but Suicune's gonna bounce off and here comes Usain. Yo, Adrop, wasn't that Suicune? I just caught a quick glimpse, but I thought I saw Suicune running on the waves. It's beautiful and grand and it races through towns and roads at simply awesome speeds. It's wonderful. I wanna see Suicune up close. I've decided I'll battle you as a trainer to earn Suicune's respect. Let's battle now. All right, now I'm battling Usain, so let's see what he's got. I remember him having like Electrode and stuff like that. He's gonna lead with Drowsy, and I've got Erwin, so we can just go for a big crunch here right out the gate. He probably is gonna try to put me to sleep with Hypnosis, but I think I'm still holding a Chesto Berry from the Morty battle. He Drain Punches. Okay, that's fine. That's easy. Um, it may be in my best interest actually to go for the Aqua Scales in the hopes of maybe getting a boost. I don't know what the percentage chance of getting the attack boost is, but if it's like 20%, then it, it might be worth. Big hits. I don't get the boost. I'll try it again though, because. I may be able to sweep him, but I think he does have Electrode. Like, I remember in the main games him having Electrode and just booming. So if he has that, then I have to be a little bit mindful. 
But um, that's an easy KO on the Drowsy. His team is like designed to catch... Yeah, he's level 34. His team is kind of designed to catch the the Suicune, right? He's got the, the Sleep Pokemon. He's got an Electric type. I think that's kind of the gist. He does goes for Electric Terrain. Jeez. All right. I mean, I respect it. I'm going to go for Sludge Bomb. I think he... Oh, he's got Hidden Power Ice. Oh, no. That was... It's Hidden Power Fighting. <laughs> I was about to be scared for a second. I'm like, it's an Electrode, so it's not going to do that much, but still... I'm just waiting for him to boom on me. Why haven't you boomed yet? He set up the terrain. He can't hit me with electric moves. Try to see if he's going to boom. I don't want him to boom, but if he's going to boom, I guess do it while I still have health, you know? So he's going to get poisoned, and that may knock him out. No, it doesn't. All right. Uh, I'll just sludge bomb again. He's, he doesn't boom. He just likes to hit in power. Okay. That's fine with me. The queen does not care about your ball of electrode. No, it does not. Get wrecked. You and your electric terrain nonsense. Didn't do anything to me. No. All right, good stuff there for the squad. Two Pokemon left. What else you got? He's got a Gengar. Okay, I have a pretty good Gengar answer in Darwin. Another Pokemon that can trap you, which is cool. And he's going to go for Confuse Ray, so I got to deal with that now. I'm just going to go for Assurance, though. Toxic! It's kind of annoying, I'm not going to lie. All right, let's see what happens. I can't synchronize it because, you know, he's already a Poison type. Let's see if I can get through this. I hit myself. All right, so I have to full heal because I don't want to be confused and toxic. So let's do that. He's going to Venish. Oh, man, it's a good thing I did that because he's got Toxic Venishock. That would have done a lot of damage to me. All right, I have to play this really smart because this thing is a problem, dude. All right, so let's get the Assurance off. This is going to do about half probably. Yeah. So I think my best bet now is actually just go Wingman to take the Venishock, and then we just go for Bite. Shadow sneaking Gengar is fine. But we should be okay here to just bite and knock him out. Because obviously Crobat's going to be faster. All right, I get that. We, we, we went through that interaction in the last episode against Morty. So um, we got level 33 there for Darwin. Wants to learn Moon... Ooh, I could work with that. Um, I think I get rid of Pursuit for Moonlight right now. That could be really good. Cersei to 34. And what else is your last Pokemon? It is Jumpluff. I think I just cross poison. Jump love another Pokemon that can put things to sleep, right? Because it's got uh, hypno uh, sleep powder. So that's like you've seen this whole deal. And a good Pokemon against Suicune, obviously. Wingman carrying the team at level 35. Wants to learn Leech Life? I think I'm going to pass on that. I hate to admit it, but you win. Well, what did you expect? I get it now. I'm going to keep searching for Suicune. I'm sure we'll see each other again. See you later, bro. And now the gym is clear. Okay, so the gym is clear now, which is good. So let me heal up, and then we're going to take on Chuck. I may tweak the team a little bit, though. For that battle. So I'm actually going to add Majora and Bird Jesus to the team for this battle. So I do have to train them up. Uh, obviously, Sweet Sense is not going to work. I do have to train them up in order to do that, though. So I got to head back to the mainland, do a little bit of grinding, and then I think we'll be uh, ready to take on Chuck. And there's our little Masquerade Majora. I'm excited for this because I think it'll be really good. Uh, Intimidate super strong, being able to uh, kind of whittle things down, and obviously picking up Air Cutter. Super good stuff. Oh my god, look at these moves! Wow, that's not even fair! Quiver Dance and Bug Buzz from Movery Learner. Yes, please. And there's Entei. <laughs> so I'm uh, mid grinding here, and uh, these legendaries keep popping up. We've seen Entei and now Raikou. I'm not going to catch him, obviously. Uh, B Drive here picking up Toxic Spikes. That's a really nice pickup. And Swagnamide evolving into a Magneton. I'm just trying to give a bunch of the Pokemon in the box right now with XP share since I'm getting all this XP. And he wants to learn Tri Attack, which I guess is okay. And this is looking to be my squad heading into Chuck. We got Majora, Bird Jesus, Irwin, Cersei, Fuego, and Wingman. So I'm going to head to the gym and beat up all the gym trainers. Maybe grab a few levels on a few of these Pokemon while I'm doing it. And we should be good to go. All right, there's Wake. So let me beat up all these gym trainers. All right, this is our squad. We're going to lead with Wingman because you already know you got your boy Wingman holding it down. We got Majora making its debut and Bird Jesus, of course, with some other really cool Pokemon. So let's do it. Oof. The pounding waterfall right into my head. Why did you stop the waterfall from pouring on me? You spoiled my training. I have to warn you that I am a strong trainer training every day under this waterfall. Let's do battle. All right, let's see what you got for me, Chuck. I'm ready for you, bro. Chuck and his powerful fighting type Pokemon. He's going to lead it off with a Heracross. All right. That's that's no match for Wingman, though. Wingman gets to just click pluck here. So let's go for pluck. Oh, he's got a Culpa Berry. 
No, I feel like this still does a lot though. Don't you dare click counter, bro. Smart strike, okay, that's fine. That's not a big deal. I can take a smart strike. That does a lot, but I can finish him off here with another pluck, so let's go for that. He's gonna use Iber Potion, but that's fine because I just get the KO now. So, I'll just go for pluck here. The downside is like, Wingman is so good, right? But he doesn't have a really powerful flying type move. He's, he has to like, until he gets Brave Bird. Here comes a Primeape. It's a female Primeape. I'm actually gonna go out into Cersei here, I think is a good play. Let's go on to Cersei. And he's gonna Rock Slide, okay. So now we know Primeape has Rock Slide, so I definitely have to be careful with that. I'm gonna go for... I think I just Sludge Bomb. He's gonna switch out into what? Into Polyrath. Okay, that's his ace level's 37. I'd love a poison right now. I don't get it, and he has Leftovers. All right, I think a good play here is just to go Majora. I get an Intimidate off on him, see what this Polyrath wants to do. Here's the Intimidate. That's gonna drop his attack by one stage. And he is gonna go for Hypnosis. All right, that's a bit annoying. Um, what do I wanna do now? Let's see. And he's just gonna keep getting health back. I think, like, do I try to heal off this Hypnosis or do I just like deal with it? Um, this is definitely tricky. Let me heal off this Hypnosis and kind of see what he wants to do. I have Awakening, so let's do that. And he's gonna power up Punch. All right, I need, I need to get some hits off. I'm gonna Quiver Dance, miss. He hits the Hypnosis again, dude. All right, let's Awakening again. He power up Punches again. I'm gonna Quiver Dance. Yes, he misses that time, perfect. Okay, now I'm gonna Air Cutter and we're gonna crit him. Nice. He missed another hypnosis, let's go! Yo, Majora doing its thing. He's gonna Hyper Potion up. I just need to hit two air cutters and we're fine. Just need to hit two air cutters here, baby. There we go, one more. He's got leftovers, this thing is a problem, dude. His power up, he's like plus two. Yes, Majora clutches up, hits the air cutters and, and crits on that last one and knocks out Polyrath. Such a clutch pickup here. Two Pokemon left. Here comes Primeape again. We know he's got Rock Slide. I'm plus one. I'm gonna just play it safe. I'm going Cersei here. I'm gonna play it safe. Cause I don't think he touches me. He Rock Slides. He could have Ice Punch, but like, I don't think he's gonna do that. Like that doesn't do that much. And he's a female. So I'm gonna just go for Sludge Bomb again. He's gonna Rock Slide again. Okay. Ooh, that does a lot actually. But he doesn't get the flinch, so I get a sludge bomb off. And I don't snag a poison. Let me heal up here. I think this is a good opportunity for me to just use a potion. Oh, I have my leftovers in my bag. I really should have grabbed that. Rock slide again, and then I'm just gonna sludge bomb because he's just gonna keep rock sliding. So I wonder if he's choice scarf into that. He flinches me. All right. There's the sludge bomb. A poison would be really nice. It would finish him off here. I don't get it. But I will be able to finish him off with another Sludge Bomb. So that's fine. Cersei's gonna get to level 35. And let's see, oh, Majora gets to level there too. Let's see what the last Pokemon is here for Chuck. Cause so far we've been able to get through him, but wants to learn Body Slam? Um, I kind of like Return, but I guess Body Slam is good for Paralysis. And the last Pokemon is Hariyama. Level 36, that's kind of a problem. Um, I definitely have to switch out here. I'm gonna go Majora for the Intimidate. And then I'll probably switch out. Because this thing almost certainly has a rock type move, I feel like. I'm worried about Belly Drum, though. If it has Belly Drum, I'm kind of ruined. He's going to faint attack. Okay. I can work with that. As long as he doesn't Belly Drum, like, I'm okay with this. I do wonder if he's going to have a rock move. So I'm going to go Erwin now. Because I think this is a really good time to do that. See what he wants to do. He has Poison Jab. Ooh, he crits. No Poison, though. I don't want to risk that again. I think the play here is you just go Majora again. Because he probably wants to go for a fighting move. I'll get him negative two. And then he's really only doing damage if he crits me. So let's see. He body presses. That's a fighting move. And we eat that. Okay, so he's definitely, he showed me three of his moves. Maybe he doesn't have a rock type move. Do I risk it though? I don't really want to switch it. Like my team is kind of weakened right now. I'm not even gonna lie. 
Um, why don't I go for an air cutter and see how much it does? Hariyama is like really bulky from an HP perspective, but oh, that does nothing. He's got poison jab, obviously. He does snag a poison, so I do have to switch out, but he's at least minus two now. So I think now is a good time. Like there's probably no better time to go into wingman, I would say. Or I go Fuego and try to chip him down a little bit more. Yeah, let's go Fuego, try to chip him down just a little bit more. He hasn't shown me Drain Punch or anything, so he's going to Poison Jab. No Poison, that's fine. I'm going to go for Fire Fang. He could have Thick Fat. He very well has Thick Fat. Here comes a Body Press. Okay. I think now is the time I go Wingman on a Body Press. Or a potential Poison Jab, and then just go for Pluck, and I think we're okay. Here comes the body press. It's four times super, uh, or four times resisted, so this should do very little. This is a little bit more than I thought it was gonna do. Um, I think now I go for pluck. Maybe I'll steal a citrus berry or something. Faint attack. He's minus two. I should live this. Oh, there we go. Okay. Finish him off, wingman. Let's go. Another gym down. He was tough. I was under leveled for sure. I was definitely under leveled. Wingman gets to level 36, though. It got a little dicey there with those Hypnosis, man. Jeez. Erwin to 36. Cersei, Fuego, everyone getting a little bit of love. And we take down Chuck and the Fighting-type gym. How about that? You're worthy of the Storm Badge, our fifth badge on Pokemon GS Chronicles. Very nice. I'm talking about it. And he's going to give us Power a Punch, which I just got on, on Skywalker, but that's okay. It might be a kind of weak punch move, but the more you use it, the more your attack increases. And that is that for GS Chronicles today. We've been doing one gym every episode, so I hope you guys have been enjoying that. Hit that like button down below if you guys do. And don't forget to head to TeamShotted.com to pick up these amazing t-shirts that we've got there. Thank you guys so much for watching this one. My name is Dan. I also go by A-Drive, and I will see you guys on the next episode. Peace.